guys, how you going? Ozzy here. So when the more Call of Duty Ghost information for you, another thing they've brought to the game and said is you can create a, not only create a player, but create your soldier. It's basically going through a bit of the perk system and how it will work and how it's kind of taken a bit from the older Modern Warfare. And they said actually taking a bit from a Black Ops 2 as well. You'll still be able to get your character, customize your character, you still be able to customize your character, your loadout, and your perks, but just in a little bit of a different way. They said you'll get eight points to go just towards your perks. Your kill streaks and attachments don't count towards those points. They have their own points to go off. We prime weapons, secondary weapons, lethals, tacticals have their own points as well. So you have your say you have eight points for your perks. I'm not sure how many points it is so far towards your guns and equipment, but they have their own perks as well. But the thing is, if you take away secondary weapons and your lethals and stuff like that, you can actually run with more perks. I think they said you can run up with to eleven perks at one time. And I'm thinking, look out! You can basically be a super specialist running around with eleven perks at one time. And I'm like, holy crap. And also when getting your guns as well, they said there won't be any order in getting guns anymore. And this is really good because before you'd have in certain Call of Duties, you'd have to uh, you know get to a certain level to unlock your gun. In like Modern Warfare and Black Ops 2, you had to get oh, bloody sorry itchy enough points to get it. And, but now they've done something different, and so basically saying if you want to get, like you start with whatever basic guns you have, up, get your points, and if you want to buy the best sniper rifle, or the best LMG, or the best assault rifle, as long as you've got the points, you can get it, and that could be your second gun. There is no way or order you have to buy your guns in, and what they basically say, once they're unlocked, once you prestige, you keep everything. So I'm guessing there's going to be gold guns in this game as well, I'm not sure about diamond camo but basically gold camo once you want to unlock it you can prestige you'll keep it once you unlock all your guns you prestige you'll keep it once you get all your perks unlocked once you prestige you'll keep it and basically everything that you have before you prestige you'll get it only thing will change is your prestige level and that is really awesome in itself another point i want to bring out is the new game modes they said they bring into you cranked infected bring an infected back what if that's going to be put right into multiplayer this time and not into like party game modes search and rescue grind and blitz cranked looks to be the best basically said it's like team deathmatch but as soon as you get your first kill you have a 30 second timer on your yourself i think you're strapped with c4 and if you don't get a kill in 30 seconds boom you're dead so basically if you're camp if you're just trying to sit back and wait for people to come to you, it, it won't work. This game is made for people that rush. People that love rushing are going to love Cranked. And I can see a lot of YouTubers taking Cranked and using it as their main game because it's basically high-paced action. That's what people want. And now even more high-paced. Basically, when you get a kill, you got to keep going because you get a kill, you get a perk to make you faster. It's to say like lightweight or marathon or sleight of hand or something like that. And the more kills you get, the more perks you'll get. They kind of said it's like in Sharpshooter, like that, how you can get, where after you get a couple kills, you'll get perks. Sim very similar to that, but in but in total, all the game modes you still have the. In saying that, all the game modes that you love are still coming back: free for all, team deathmatch, search and destroy, domination, kill confirmed, search and rescue, grind, blitz, cranked, infected, hunted, and the safeguard. It does look like infect. It does look like infected is put into normal multiplayer. I wonder if they will hopefully still have the knife for once you're infected, because remember all the people jumping up to places where you cannot get them by stabbing. Hopefully they have it, or you're going to see people jumping on light poles again and just getting, if there's a move in the game, I'm not sure. Everybody's saying there is. I haven't seen one yet. I've seen a kill streak that is really destroying, but doesn't end the game or doesn't kill the whole team, but it looks like they're calling it the move. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helped you out with a bit more information of Call of Duty. Give it a like if it did, and subscribe for more Call of Duty information. Thanks for watching this, guys, and I'll see you later.